Welcome everyone, this is Darlanio commenting on a game between Adel and Unique Kalin which was played 19th May 2011 in the Daily Motion Cup. It's game 2 of 5 and game 1 is already posted on YouTube. We see Adel spawning as the orange Protoss here in the lower left corner. And we have Unique Kalin spawning as the blue Terran up in the upper right corner. Unique Kalin is starting on the supply depot at 10 supply, which is the normal thing to do. And I saw that Adel placed his pylon at 9 supply, which is also the standard opening for Protoss players. We see a 12 gateway from Adel, and we see a 11 or 12 barracks, I missed which one, from Unique Kalin. Colin is blocking off his ramp while Adel is not blocking off his ramp. Not, no, not that he needs since he knows he's playing a Terran player. We also see an early gas from Adel and an extra pylon, of course. While Unique Colin has no gas so far. His barracks are ready but only a marine coming out so far of course without gas he can't do anything else and he is placing down the second supply deep for completing the blockade. Unique Kalin has been scouting making some damage on this pylon and now his SV moves home or maybe not looks like he's going for this expansion here maybe a ninja expansion coming up here he has the minerals no he starts on the command center within his base instead. The safe way to do it. And he also starts on two gas here simultane simultaneously. Three marines ready to defend the base. While Adel has one salot and one sentry. He, uh, Adel is researching warp gate technology, but he's not chrono boosting it. And he is expanding. So both players are set for an, a macro game, it seems. This SV has been moving back and forth in this area, but it's now going down to scout here it seems. This Zelot checked out this area. Oh, going into the three sentries here. At the same time as Adel is moving in his probe here and getting it killed and the poor SV also got killed. But the SV was able to see this expansion and Adel probably saw that there was no activity here. Not sure though. I'm uh, not sure you can see that, if there was an expansion there or not. This Nexus is up and uh, is slowly being saturated. He also placed a pylon there, probably 
wanting to block off this part of the map. With buildings and cannons and stuff. Okay, this salot is moving up towards the Selenaga, it seems so. Wanting to take control of it and get some view of the map. This stalker has taken this Selenaga. Unique Colin has four barracks, two with reactors. He has one factory with tech lab producing siege tanks. Adel has these three gateways, or warp gates I should say, and a robotics facility producing immortals. He has started with one observer which is moving into Unique Collins base. He will be able to see all these buildings, these production buildings. When the observer moves, the Terran player can see it. I wonder if... Yeah, scan going down and the observer is being taken out. Adel's army now with two immortals, three stalkers and two zealots. Moving in to take out these destructible rocks at the gold expansion. One more stalker coming in from the Selnaga and we see a large push from Unique Kalen with SCVs, Marines and two yeah, two siege tanks. Forcing Adel to move back from these rocks, but a lot of marines got killed there. Due to the force fields, now another two SVs and one marine, I think it was, got killed. Forcing Unique Colin to remove those rocks. Making it harder for Adel to use his force fields. A large battle going on. And we see that even with the SCVs who take a lot of damage from this uh, from from Adel, uh, not many marines survive and only one siege tank left. It doesn't look good for Unique Kalin. This was an all-in for him. And his army is getting destroyed and he's surrendering. He didn't have much here. About 17 SCVs. He had one here. But uh, army-wise he only had one marine, one siege tank. Here he had one marine, one marine, another marine, so four marines, one siege tank. Compared to the army of Adel, which was larger, much larger. Well, his attempt to take control failed and he surrendered. Let's see what happens in game three. Thanks for watching.